Hello everyone, in this video I will going to show you how to use config management tools like Spring Cloud Config and Consul with TIPCO BW Container Edition. So objective over here is that we will going to develop a simple HTTP application then we will going to push it on Cloud Foundry using Spring Cloud Config uh, Management Server and uh, using Docker with Consul. Prerequisites are you need to download TIPCO BWC Studio bwccf.zip file which is basically the runtime of bwc docker and the console server now let's get started uh, with uh, the application so i am creating a sample http app i will uh, drag http receiver and uh, the http uh, response activity i will create a shared resource now which is connector shared resource then uh, in my http response i will going to map the receiver then go to module properties create a property with the name uh, let's say message and make it default as hello uh, go to my process properties add uh, messages as uh, the property name and uh, make default value as the module property which I have just created okay now I will go to my send HTTP response uh, in the input I will drag that messages as the ASCII content which is basically the response now I will just run this application locally on my studio. Seems like it is up. Let's get the endpoints. And uh, yes, you can see the hello response. Now let's uh, let's create a profile. Go to application project and create a profile called cloud. And uh, you know tokenize that uh, value instead of hello with hash msg hash. So this value will be resolved in my config management tool. I have exported the ER and if I show you the Cloud Foundry ML, you can see. So this is my application name of Cloud Foundry. This is the ER file. This is the build pack and you can see two environment variable app config profile and BW profile. App config profile is PCF and BW profile is cloud. This is the same cloud profile uh, which is mapped with that MSG token. For PCF, I'll show you. So for that, you need to create a config server in uh, Cloud Foundry. P pick it from Cloud Foundry Marketplace. I have already done that. So this takes a GitHub repository. So that GitHub repository uh, is this. And you can see uh, there is a properties file uh, which has application name hyphen uh, the profile name. So this is the application name and the profile name is PCF and you can see the same token msg and this is the value of this uh, token which is hello bwc now let's uh, and uh, there is a service called spring config server so this is the same service name now let's push this uh, application on cloud foundry so seems like it is pushed now if i hit that uh, url uh, you can see the response so this is the same response which is there on my config management server for this token msg okay now i will use the same er for docker with consul so the same er and the docker file is pointing to the same er and uh, the from image is basically the runtime image for tipco bw container edition so you can see this is the latest image this part i have already covered uh, for Cloud Foundry and I will going to use these commands to create a docker image using this docker file which I just showed you so I will copy the same command and create a docker image so seems like it is created so yes you can see sample HTTP app docker image there now let's run that uh, image so I'll copy this command, paste it so it is started running. 
So what is there in this command of docker run? You can see BW HTTP app, which is the container name. BW profile, the same cloud profile. App config profile, this time it is docker instead of PCF. So you will see uh, this is the console server URL, which you have to provide. And you can see that docker uh, as the app config profile and MSG as the token. And this is the value which you should see after hitting uh, that URL. Now let's see the logs first and see if it is up. Yes, the application seems to be up. Now I'll get the URL of my Docker host. So if I type docker hyphen machine ls, this is the IP address of my Docker host. So I will use this IP. And since I have mapped this application container on 188, I will just use 188 port. Okay, so you can see the response, which is the same response, which is mentioned in Consume. This concludes my video. Thank you.